as though there is a baby that's crying and when a baby's crying we know you need to pick it up and hold it and so you pick up this part and you hold it you hold it with your attention and you allow the body to feel the sensations as you witness it as awareness without personalizing it so without identifying with a story that I'm feeling this. Instead, I'm aware that the body's having this experience. This is something I need to fix and get rid of, so I'll do the practice. And if there's a part that wants to fix it, you notice that too and allow that too. My question is, um, I've had the bad experience with suppressing thoughts uh, and my system right pretty badly. So I, I, I don't do that anymore. And obviously, you know, not to do that now. But I have thoughts that come up like, well, you must eat that piece of cake, come up. And I know I see it and I leave it. And that's not a problem. But it keeps coming up. And I get more tension in the body and the resistance so I eat the cake and then I get the part of me that's a critic that tells me how awful I am and I'm not very spiritual and I I get sucked in by the thoughts but that I, I see and it goes but obviously in the future another piece of cake and another thought comes up so I just like your advice on how to deal with the situation what it boils down to is becoming curious about what is true in this moment. What is true for me? What is the most true aligned action? So in order to access the truth, you have to open to the stillness of being. You have to be present in the moment. So you're already aware of this pattern that plays out. That's great. That means that when it rises up, you might be able to recognize it in the moment. And then you can do this exploration. And first of all, you become very present and just aware of the breath. And you open to the dimension of beingness. And you inquire. Is it true to eat the cake right now? And most likely the mind will say, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice that. And you stay with the deeper stillness. Just in silence, like you're just opening up to allow life to guide you. And you have to be willing to really tell the truth and, and discern when the mind disguises itself as the truth. And, and so you feel. Now, sometimes... It is true to eat cake. Sometimes it's aligned. And if you find, actually, yeah, it's it feels really true. You eat the cake and you're present with the eating and you enjoy it. And maybe the mind comes in and says, maybe you're, maybe you're fooling yourself. Just notice that's all. It's not spiritual to eat cake. Just notice that thought. 
And if what you find, if you tell the truth, is that, no, it's actually not, on the deepest level, on the deepest level of knowing, it's not a line for me to eat this cake right now. Okay, and then we can have a look. Where is this desire to eat cake arising from? What is underlying the desire? What does that part believe I will get if I eat the cake? Or what does that part believe I won't feel anymore if I eat the cake? And again, you open up to the deep stillness and let let the answer come to you from there. Because all the information is there inside of you. If you're willing to tell the truth, you can access everything that you need to know. Ah, oh, there's a part that feels anxious. It's very, very subtle, but when I tune in, I can sense it. I'm, underlying my experience and it feels like if I eat the cake the sweetness of it will soothe that anxiousness so it's a part that's seeking soothing I'm just giving it a very common general example and you can replace cake with any addictive behavior a cigarette a beer um checking social media, picking your phone up, even calling a friend to have a chat. Subtle movements that happen as a way to avoid being fully present. Okay, so now I found this part is here. Let me inquire. I'm curious about this part. And the mind might come in and say, no, eat the cake, eat the cake, just eat the cake already. <laughs> and you just notice it. Would you do your inquiry? You say, okay, um, maybe I, I will eat the cake after, but first, before I eat it, I'm going to do this inquiry because I really want to get to the bottom of this. I want to understand what's happening here. I want to know. And after, maybe I'll eat the cake. That can help to calm that voice, because if it knows, okay, I'm going to get the cake, I'll let you, I'll give you peace while you do your inquiry. So then you tune into it. And it might not be anxiety, it might be sadness, or a feeling of loneliness. It doesn't matter which one it is, you just have a look, what's there? And then you notice that these are labels describing an experience. So what is this experience that's uncomfortable? Where is it in the body? Let's have a look. And then you might notice it's in the abdomen or in the chest or in the heart. What is it that doesn't want to be felt? What does this sensation actually feel like? Can you very, very gently take your attention closer to that sensation? As though there's a baby that's crying. And when a baby's crying, we know you need to pick it up and hold it. And so you pick up this part and you hold it. You hold it with your attention and you allow the body to feel the sensations as you witness it as awareness without personalizing it. So without identifying with a story that I'm feeling this. Instead, I'm aware that the body's having this experience. 
this is something I need to fix and get rid of, so I'll do the practice. And if there's a part that wants to fix it, you notice that too and allow that too. And whatever thoughts appear, you just notice those as well. And then you totally and completely surrender to the experience that's happening in the body while you're very, very present with it. Now, as you do this with consistency, and consistency is the key, usually if you just do it one time, it's not going to make any change happen on a level of four. So every time you meet it just to the best of your ability, and it might be that the first time you can just stay with that feeling just for 10 seconds, and then it feels so strong and overwhelming. And the voices say, I have to eat the cake. Then you've done your practice for 10 seconds. Eat the cake. It's okay. But be present as you're eating the cake. And just notice that there's a movement happening to self-soothe with it. And then the next time, Maybe you can be with it for 30 seconds. The most important thing is not that you're able to surrender fully to it. More important than that is the consistency with the practice. 